kind of car do you guys have? Oh, very, very boring. I used to drive Jaguars and Mercedes, and I'm now driving a Ford, partly out of patriotism. It's called Taurus, which is a bull. Uh, but I thought they'd done a fantastic job there, really. Uh, when you think about where they were, what the automobile industry was, what Chrysler was, where General Motors was, and Ford comes along, Alan Mulally, and they pick themselves up off the floor. And I, you know, I, I drove a Volvo this weekend, which was really with these new keys, you, a magnetic key. Have you seen those? Once I'd worked it out, it was a marvelously quick, responsive car. What's the ultimate journalistic uh, car in your view? Yeah, don't forget, I employed the man who wrote the James Bond books, Ian Fleming. He was on my staff at the Sunday Times just before him. Actually, he just left to write his books. So the Aston Martin was the Sunday Times car. I had a lot of reporters, foreign correspondents, some of whom had been spies, some of whom had been involved in all sorts of dangerous expertise. And so we said, you know, James Bond with the James Bond company, the James Bond car. What would you drive? What would you ideally drive off to in the sunset with Tina? What's your most romantic car? What moves are you going to pull? I had a car uh, when I was driving in America in the 50s, which was a Chevrolet. And this car, the back seat, I had it engineered so the press of a button, it became a bed. That's the car. <laughs>